I need you more than life itself, my sweet, pure kitten. Yeah, he was kitten. He really said it. <laughs> Who's my good little kitten? I, I am. Hello there, friends. Trace amounts of science. You know, sometimes you, you come across a post and you're like, well, we got to do this in the video right now. That's exactly what I came across today. It's deeply unnerving. And so, yes, today we're headed into r slash just neckbeard things. And I'm going to front load the post. I'm going I'm to hit you right in the face with it. It's not going to be none too pleasant either. <laughs> Hello, blank. Uh, hey, who's this? I understand you must be confused, but we met before. To be more precise, we met on the blank to blank, which was a train, I guess. I was the dark-haired gentleman with whom you shared an intimate carriage for an hour. <laughs> You're a thief, blank. Do you know that? She says, what? Question mark? Because that smile of yours forever stole my heart. Oh my god. <laughs> just please stop. Whatever you're trying to do, just stop. When we met that day, you changed the trajectory of my life. Already clear cut, he is a psychopath. <laughs> I understood my true purpose and place in the world. I'm sorry for being so unclear. Allow me to explain how I found you. I knew your name because of your necklace. When I walked past several times, I noticed that you attend blank and, well, from there, it was fairly easy to put the pieces together. Why would you put the pieces? Please don't. <laughs> uh, just leave me alone. There's a reason I didn't hook you up with the social media and all that. You sat across from each other for an hour, probably in complete silence. <laughs> this is this is horrifying. A true tale of terror unfolding in real time. Uh, I found your Instagram and LinkedIn, as well as your TikTok. This allowed me to get to know you as a person. No, that's, that's not her as a person. That's the version of herself that she presents to the world. This is basic shit, man. <laughs> Uh, you don't know anything about her. You've never had a, a conversation before this creepy string of text messages. I know all your likes and dislikes, all your traits and habits. <laughs> Last weekend, you went to blank with your friend Blank, and you had a good time, although you felt a little unwell the next morning. Yeah, social media, man. People out here snitching on themselves. <laughs> you go to my Facebook, you don't see shit. I'm really mystified as to how this dude thought this would even work. <laughs> She'd be like, oh, you're so mysterious. You called yourself a distinguished gentleman. Take me now. <laughs> no, it's creepy. Has nobody ever told you it's creepy? But just you wait, friends, because it only gets worse. <laughs> uh, sorry for the delayed response. I was at work. I mean, did she say anything? I like to think that this was just a, a huge string of unrequited text messages, but... I'm not too sure. <laughs> Probably it is just him going off. When you smiled, my heart awoke from its slumber with a jolt. <laughs> uh, you felt like the first gasp of air after almost drowning. The world stopped spinning for a brief moment, and I was utterly overwhelmed by your divine presence. You know, this might have actually somewhat worked if it was like the 1800s, and then this chick would show you her ankle or something, and you'd think about that for the next decade. At least until you get enough head of cattle to buy a 15-year-old child bride. <laughs> no, it's not good times. I think even a child bride could see <laughs> that you're a man of words rather than actions. Of course, he couldn't just leave it as a nice, if only slightly overwhelming compliment. No, no. We had to make it really weird after that. <laughs> On the more physical side, I was reduced to a throbbing, painful priapism, which led me to dripping pre. That is no easy feat, my dear blank. <laughs> Dude, this is, <laughs> this is horrible. Can we block the number now? Do we need to read the rest of this? Unfortunately, 
I think I do. <laughs> Your face was crafted by the angels! <laughs> Uh, your wide, sparkling brown eyes, your adorable button nose, your full lips, your slender, swan-like neck, a neck made to be caressed and choked gently. It is a challenge to choose your best feature. <sighs> yes, but I too like the swan-like neck made perfectly for being strangled by a telephone wire. <laughs> Uh, I guess nobody uses telephones with wires anymore. It'd be a piano string, of course. Creep continues. I noticed the subtle scar under your nose, which doesn't take away from your beauty. <laughs> Rather, it adds a unique touch to it. You want to know how I got these scars? Go ahead. Ask her. Ask her. <laughs> I know it's coming. You wore a white sundress with your pretty little feet, size 4, encased in white heels. Oh god, he's a foot guy too, isn't he? <laughs> I saw so much feet, Father, I couldn't resist! Shut up! Uh, we're reaching new depths. We're peeling back the layers of this onion and it is rancid inside. <laughs> the virginal white material contrasted so beautifully against your long raven hair and tan, exotic complexion. <sighs> My wife really does look great in white, though. Drives me up a wall, like, for real, for real. But you know why I can say things like that to her? <laughs> <laughs> because we've established a relationship. You, you don't know this person. The fuck are you doing? Get a hobby. <laughs> don't touch grass now. Uh, guess this is his hobby. Riding the train to nowhere and stalking any woman unwary enough to get into a carriage with him. And of course, we're not done. No, indeed. <laughs> not even halfway done yet. <laughs> Uh, I know you're a goddess, because only a goddess can fit those plump breasts and perfect hips on a slim frame like yours. Yep, yep, it's not getting any better. <laughs> and naturally, you have a tiny waist signaling your fecundity. Well, I'm gonna have to look this up. The ability to produce an abundance of offspring or new growth. Fertility. You can just say fertility, Dexter. We don't all have a thesaurus on hand, okay? <laughs> I say this in the most respectful way. You look like you were designed to please men. <laughs> uh, a true, selfless, fertility goddess. There's probably some word out there that would be into that spin, but not the way that you spun it, you know? <laughs> Uh, I don't know. There has to be some flicker of self-realization before you hit send, doesn't there? <laughs> no, he, he's still going. I noticed your golden necklace had your name etched on it. Oh, blank. The name fits you perfectly. Seeing the glittering gold hanging above your heavy breasts was a sight to behold. <laughs> Uh, oh, I'm dying. Do you think he writes a custom one of these for every woman that he tries to unsettle? <laughs> or is it just like sort of a Mad Libs fill in the blank? That like, give up, give me a breast size. Oh, yes, see the glitter and gold hanging above your petite breasts was a sight to behold. I mean, doesn't make it any better. I'm sort of more creeped out that he put this much time into it. <laughs> but we're still going. Listening to your voice is so incredibly addicting. Ugh. It's deep, yet feminine. Smooth and clear like honey. I liken it to music therapy. Ugh, simp. <laughs> Stop. I, I let you get away with it for a little while. Now I think we've cr finally crossed the line. <laughs> get a fucking hold of yourself, sir. I'm not sure who made you laugh on the phone, but I will say that the sound planted flowers in my heart. Well, I hope they lead to a coronary bypass. <laughs> uh, I don't want to deal with you. Let's not get my boyfriend on the phone. How about that? 
Never crossed his mind. He has this perfect ideal path laid out before her. Oh, woman that I've never met and only stalked on social media. Surely I can win your hand. I'll get you that white picket fence. <laughs> Uh, I'm in my late 20s and never planned on having children. Well, thank God for that. <laughs> However, this all changed when you came into my life. Oh, no! <laughs> uh, my sole purpose is to become one with you. Yes, I just want to become one with you, stranger from the train. <laughs> <laughs> that I really only sat there and eavesdropped on for an hour. And then he gets only more descriptive. I vividly picture tying your hands to a bed and... Well, doing it. <laughs> but he did say doing it. We're gonna do a split upload for this, I guess. <laughs> Patriots and members, uh, they could be exposed to this if they want. For everybody else, we're gonna do a tasteful fade to black because <laughs> I don't want to get in no trouble. God, that's about the worst way you could have described it. Thanks so much! Becoming one with you, our life essence intertwined. Your black hair sprawled on the bed, cheeks blushed, milk-filled boobers bouncing rhythmically, bonded, filled. <laughs> Jesus, dude. <laughs> Uh, please never write anything ever again. I'm tempted to never read anything ever again after this. <laughs> I've considered that you might resist at first, which makes it all the more sweeter. How is it getting weirder? We're on page six, and it's still getting weirder. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Uh, your small, fragile body struggling under me as I forcefully enter. This is, this is so not okay. How heavy is this distinguished gentleman? May I ask? <laughs> Uh, your repeated attempts to get away, tears streaming down your face, your slow realization that all attempts are futile because you're a woman. A woman designed to be taken gently, carefully, and then all at once, you were born to be bred. Yeah, I'll tell you, my brain feels like a loaf of sourdough after all this. <laughs> I'm liking this too much. Uh, oh my god. I'll admit there's a little bit of fun in a power dynamic like that, but yeah, not with strangers. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> uh, this has to be the sort of trust to be established over years, you understand? He doesn't understand. He's gonna be alone for a long, long time. Mostly because he talks like this. Only thinks about this. Uh, anyway. I jerked it dozens of times. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta feed the geese to keep the blood flowing. Mm -hmm. I keep the rhythm below the belt. Uh, I can tell. You, you've really been uh, obsessing. Limerence, I believe they call it. I don't know a goddamn thing about you, but you're my manic pixie dream girl! Stranger from the train? <laughs> How about we do a strangers on a train thing, okay? You end him for me, and you pick somebody and I'll end them for you. I mean, not me personally. We have people to handle that, you know, disposal and whatnot. Just another advantage of employment here at Red X Industries. <laughs> I've spilled so many gallons of goo because of you. <laughs> it rhymes. No longer do I watch adult videos or, or other women. You have a hold on my soul and body. I need you more than life itself, my sweet, pure kitten. Not even kitten. He really said it. <laughs> Who's my good little kitten? I, I am. Uh, I thought it was just a meme, but he's out here trying to live the meme. <laughs> uh, I, I can't fix this. But wait, there's more. <laughs> if the overly intimate talk wasn't quite enough for you, well, now he's going to challenge anonymous girl's boyfriend to a duel. <laughs> it's time to du 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 I'm serious. 
Uh, I've looked into your history, and I understand that you're currently with Chad. <laughs> Before I continue, let's draw some comparisons. Chad is six foot one. I am six foot three. He plays blank. I'm trained in jujitsu and MMA. I don't understand the strategy here. <laughs> She's supposed to be like, wow, you're really cool and tough. I don't think this is going to work out in real life the way it worked out in your head. <laughs> Although you might be attracted to his physically imposing stature, I can assure you that I possess superior technique and mental fortitude. So what you're saying is he's muscular and you're a big fatty fat, right? <laughs> you probably don't do jujitsu or MMA. This might all be worth it just to see this guy get his ass kicked. <laughs> uh, in a raw duel, I would certainly dominate him. <laughs> if you wish to determine the more suitable mate, I am more than willing to challenge your boyfriend at a location of his choosing. <laughs> it's a good way to get jumped, honestly. <laughs> You and I both know Chad is not the one for you. It is clear that he's an unfeeling brute. <laughs> uh, who doesn't understand how lucky he truly is? And you determine this based on what? A string of social media posts and the highly distorted reflection of your own reality. <laughs> the thought of that... Unintelligent beast manhandling a soft goddess like you makes me sick. You need a real man who treats you with gentle care and affection, not a pretend man who abuses his power. How has the boyfriend misused his power at all? <laughs> he plays like some sort of sport while this creep is talking about MMA and stuff. That's more of a uh, misuse of power in my opinion. You want to be a big, tough man for her, but a soft, delicate flower all at the same time because you're so mysterious. You're such a distinguished gentleman. <laughs> uh, this is stupid. Page eight, and it's still getting stupider. More dumber. <laughs> you must take several steps in order for us to be together. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's just a given. I'll definitely take these steps into consideration. <laughs> these steps are as follows. One, break up with Chad. Two, end your friendship with girl. She's uncouth, trashy, and overweight. Yeah, sure, just, just come in and dictate people's lives, <laughs> who they can be friends with and whatnot. <laughs> it's a really solid basis for a relationship. I love it. <laughs> I expect you to make these changes by the end of this month. Your new life starts. Kitten? <laughs> Can you tell me the name of that enchanting perfume you wore? I'd like to buy you more. You fucking simp. You're disgusting. He tried every tactic in the book and she didn't give him word one. Honestly, I love to see it. <laughs> It's horrifying that somebody would say these things to another human being completely unprovoked. But I'm glad that it's now chronicled for the internet. That thing seriously went on basically forever. <laughs> Took up half the video, but I'm glad we got it done. Don't know if it's actually gonna get any better or not in the next post, but you know, we, we gotta try. <laughs> uh, this was called Shit Advice. That's what they should call this channel, honestly. <laughs> Uh, I found out that one of the people who prevented me from ending self is a PDF file. Already, you know what you have to do. You don't owe him anything. You're the one that found the strength to carry on. And you weren't motivated by, well, the type of things that he's probably motivated by. Uh, anyway, we'll get to the post. OP says, to dumb it down a little bit, I met a person online about a year or two ago. And for the sake of this story, let's call them Josh. Well, Josh seems like a terminally online weirdo, but surely he could help you with your mental health. <laughs> and, uh, I talked with Josh on a regular basis, and they were one of my favorite people to talk to. 
especially since at the time my mental state was horrible. I had dark thoughts on a regular basis and even almost brought myself to jump off the roof of a building. Almost. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. That seems more like attention seeking behavior to me. I'm sorry you're going through it. I hope you get some help, but even almost doesn't really count. Might be a hot take, whatever, who cares? OP says Josh was quite literally one of the only reasons I didn't do that. And they were great, to me at least, and they were extremely kind and helpful. Hey, that's neat. The poison's leaking out somewhere else. We don't even have to worry about it. <laughs> OP says even though I doubt they knew what I was going through, their general support was enough to keep me going at the time. Come to find out, a few days ago, they were acting extremely inappropriately with a minor while they were 17, sending them explicit content, asking for some, etc. How old is Josh, exactly? Do Romeo and Juliet laws apply to them? The girl being 17, I, I guess that's better on a sliding scale of PDF files. I guess technically he'd be a hebophile, but... There's not a really smooth way to elucidate the difference without also sounding like a PDF file. So I'm still going with the theory that yeah, Josh, Josh, while he might have saved you or whatever, he clearly didn't do it on purpose. You were just like, I was thinking about this thing and he was there, so I didn't. Do we give him carte blanche to do whatever he wants simply because he fucking exists? <laughs> That's a ridiculous way to go through life, OP. What are you talking about? No, he should suffer consequences for his actions. 17 year old girls enough to skeeve you out? Good, me too, let's get the hell out of here. I say it again, you, you don't owe him anything. OP continues, they're 100% old enough and mature enough to know what they were doing, and I have no idea what to think anymore. Wait, are we qualifying old and mature enough for Josh? Is Josh the one who was 17? What the hell is happening here? This is why grammar is fucking fundamental, you know? <laughs> uh... OP says, the person was the reason that I'm here today, but now I can't tell if I want to speak to them anymore. It is atrocious. I don't know what to think or do anymore. Vacate, post haste. If not, take him out back, put the boost to him. Show him the rabbits a little bit, you know? He's your dog, OP, I'll let you do it. <laughs> and then, of course, just the worst comments are in the thread. If a pedo saves your life, you don't ghost them. You find them some sexy kids. Uh, I, maybe it's meant as a joke, but please don't, don't fucking do that. See what happens? Now you go against the wall, too. That's the only way I know how to fix this. The one true cure for PDF files of every type, hot lead. Got this dude standing up against the wall. He's like, you, you, you wouldn't shoot me, right? I'm like, no, I'm gonna melt this lead and pour it down your throat. <laughs> uh, I think that's more humane. Now open wide, you degenerate. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's some pretty bad advice. Uh, let's move on to the Helldivers Steam page. Hey! I've been playing a bit of Helldivers 2 myself. This Steam community post is a petition to fix the game servers and keep the game neutral and don't add politics and woke stuff. Honestly, things that I could probably agree with, the, the sweet baby ink, the Gamergate 2 coming on type of thing. I, I made a video for it and then I threw it away and I'm probably gonna make another one. So yes, I almost want to sign this petition until I see another comment that he's left in his own thread saying, By the way, uh, I'm really a nice guy. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> here we go. I've been playing Helldivers for quite a while, and I'm feeling like boosting some girl gamers. <laughs> Preferably ones that look kind of good. I'd appreciate if you could send a picture before beginning. <laughs> Uh, satire is crossed over into reality. I'm not sure if I'm being trolled right now, but if I am, I, I have to admit, you're getting my goat really good. <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> this is because often when I talk to girls otherwise, they don't take my Helldiver skill into consideration. That's true. Girls want guys with lots of skills. Girls only want boyfriends who have great skills. 
Many girls through the years did friendzone me, and I'm really tired of all douchebags taking the girls who deserve better. Yes, better. And by better, of course, you mean you, <laughs> who only really knows how to complain about woke stuff and play Helldivers. It's a good game, but I think I would hate to play it with this person just because they're a complainer. Anybody who's a complainer, I, I can't really get behind it. Everybody should complain from time to time, but when it's a central tenet of your personality, just... Ugh. <laughs> Stay away. Here's another post that crosses parody over into reality. Title is Steam Review Posted by a Guy That I Met in College. Now, people are known to do ironic, silly things on Steam or Twitch or Twitter. X, Twix, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I think people uh, are taken more seriously on YouTube, but there's still always room for a little, a little jokey joke, isn't there? But sometimes the joke goes too far, makes you question your reality. Anyway, let's read it. <laughs> Good day. <laughs> Permit me to expound upon the illustrious qualities of a most exceptional pony. <laughs> In the enchanting realm of Equestria. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not friends with this person any longer. You meant it ironically or you didn't. I just, I don't want to be attached to you. So tell me, I guess, creep, <laughs> who is your favorite pony? <laughs> the esteemed uh, Octavia Melody. Uh, I don't know who the hell that is. As a devoted aficionado of my little pony, I find myself unequivocally enamored by Octavia, a creature of sublime elegance and unparalleled cultural refinement. <laughs> ah, I see you're a gentleman of culture as well. <laughs> I don't know anything about Octavia. That's not even like one of the popular ones. You had to go for the most obscure pony, didn't you? That's the type of guy you are. Nobody can truly know me, and also I date cartoon ponies on the internet. <laughs> or again, I'm being massively trolled, in which case, you got me. You got me real good. Now please stop, because some people don't understand it's a meme, and this is not the society that I want to live in. All right? <laughs> uh, uh, but we continue. Foremost, Octavia's visage is a spectacle of timeless grace and sophistication, uh, akin to the distinguished denizens of Canterlot. Dude, is this even like on a My Little Pony game? <laughs> Uh, is he strictly shitposting right now? In which case, maybe I encourage it. I don't know. Not the most clever use of ponies that I've seen. <laughs> Clad in a monochromatic tapestry of coat and mane, her visual allure resonates with a restrained beauty. Jesus. You know what this is like? The the Pokemon fan club president who talks about Rapidash in the, the original Pokemon games? <laughs> that is exactly this, except there's no button to, to skip it. You want the bike voucher, don't you? <laughs> People who don't play Pokemon have no idea what I'm talking about. And I think that's even more wonderful. The resplendence of her violet eyes bespeaks of sagacity and discernment, endowing her with an aura of intellectual gravitas. <laughs> yeah, you could totally play chess with that pony if you want. <laughs> it's not what he wants to do with the pony. <laughs> uh, Octavia's simplicity. A paragon of the adage, less is more, allows her character to emerge as a beacon of understated magnificence. Oh, I can see why you identify with that. <laughs> Beyond the corporeal, Octavia's virtuosity in the realm of music endears her to the discerning officiadado, of which I'm sure you consider yourself. 
a maestro of the cello. She orchestrates harmonious melodies that echo through the corridors of Equestria. I gotta be honest, this feels even longer than the first post. <laughs> We're not even through the first page of it yet. I don't think I've ever cared about anything less. <laughs> Uh, her dedication to the classical arts is not merely laudable. It is a source of inspiration. A quintessence of the transformative power that resides in the cadence of finely composed music. Yeah, I'm sure you liked the cello before you met that pony. Nobody actually likes the cello. <laughs> It performs a function, but the cello never gets to be the superstar. Cello people are people that are okay uh, existing in the background. And again, I can see why OP might identify with that. Anyway, <laughs> what catapults Octavia to the zenith of equine perfection, if I may be so bold, <laughs> is her embodiment of poise and restraint. Yeah, totally. Most graceful pony I ever saw. Can I have the bike voucher now? <laughs> In an epoch where ostentation holds sway, Octavia's calm, mien, and measured comportment present a refreshing contrast. <sighs> She's the version of yourself that you wish you could be. Isn't that right, OP? I'm not sure if you want to become the pony or just come the pony. <laughs> How about the blow? Uh, I don't think I'll ever get an actual answer for that either. She traverses the tumultuous vicissitudes of life with an unwavering equanimity, affirming that fortitude need not be bedecked in flamboyant trappings. Uh, her grace in adversity is not a mere character trait. It is an exemplar for those who hold appreciation for the inner serenity that is the hallmark of true refinement. Yes, truly one of the most refined takes about a cartoon pony. <laughs> uh, moreover, uh, Octavia's sporadic appearances in the series confer upon her character an air of... Uh, Exclusivity, akin to the rarest of vintages in a gentleman's cellar. Please do not put that pony in a cellar. <laughs> uh, each rendezvous with this paragon of sophistication becomes a cherished moment for enthusiasts as we sip from the chalice of her enigmatic presence. <laughs> I'm leaning towards this as satire, you know, but <laughs> sometimes the needle wavers. It wavers quite a lot, actually. In a pantheon of vibrant personalities, Octavia stands as a scion of refinement and inscrutability. <laughs> yeah, neat. I like her because she thinks she's better than everyone, and so do I. <laughs> uh, I've never seen this. I refuse to dig too deep, but this is the character that I have in my head. In summation, my admiration for Octavia Melody transcends the constraints of fictional predilections. Her elegance, musical virtuosity, and composed demeanor weave a tapestry of narrative that resonates harmoniously with my predilection for subtlety and genteel artistry. <laughs> uh, yeah, of course it would. I've got you pegged, sir. You've revealed your hand more than you know. And no, it is indeed not satire. 
<laughs> Octavia, in the grand symphony of characters that populate Equestria, emerges not merely as a note, but as a sonorous melody that lingers in the heart long after the final curtain falls. Yeah, lingers in the heart, lingers in the brain. <laughs> I find both of those things unfortunate. Why did you write that? Why did you make me read that? <laughs> uh, OP confirms that yes, this was posted on an MLP uh, adult game and uh, OP doesn't really talk to this guy anymore. For good reason, honestly. You don't want to be caught up with, with that type of stuff. <laughs> Even tangentially knowing that guy, you might could get into some trouble. Not something that I'm going to sign off on. Goodbye. <laughs> You're choosing your friends wisely, OP, and I like that a lot. This OP asks, uh, is this a pro neck beard? <laughs> you want to get a coffee sometime? OP says, I don't really hang out with people one-on-one -on -one unless I feel like I've gotten to know them first. How do you, quote, get to know someone over text, end quote? OP says, by talking to them? <laughs> uh, yes, uh, establishing a relationship, sharing commonalities. Surely this isn't too deep for you, right? Maybe it is. Neckbeard says, isn't that what we've been doing, lol? And she says, uh, a little bit. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be a lot of work for me, isn't it, lol? Why do y'all play these dumb games? OP says, what are you talking about? And he says, bye. Less neckbeard, more fuckboy. I mean, the profile picture, it is pretty neckbeardy. If he is one of them boys, well, he probably ain't that successful at it. Which is why he's playing the numbers game. So uh, don't take offense to it, OP. Gross human being, trash is taking itself out. No problem. Speaking of, I think I'm gonna get out of here for the day, guys. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, sub. I appreciate all them things. Hit me up on the, the Patreon or the YouTube memberships if you'd like to help the channel out recurringly. It's money I can depend on and it really means the world. If you can't afford to do it, no sweat. I'm just glad you watch, especially if you watch this far, you know? Uh, always remember, friends, that you are loved, you are worthy. You definitely, definitely deserve it and I shall see you in the next one. So until then... Bye-bye. Go ahead and cut him open. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Promise. Where is he?